James M. McPherson's Battle Cry of Freedom, The Civil War Era is a comprehensive examination of the causes, course, and consequences of the American Civil War. The book explores the political, social, economic, and military factors that led to the war and the impact it had on American society and politics. The book is divided into three main sections. The first section covers the years leading up to the Civil War, including the political and social tensions that developed between the North and South over issues such as slavery, states' rights, and economic differences. The second section examines the course of the war, including the key battles and military strategies employed by both sides. The final section explores the aftermath of the war and its impact on American society and politics. Part 1 – The Road to War The first section of the book covers the years leading up to the Civil War, from the Missouri Compromise in 1820 to the election of Abraham Lincoln in 1860. McPherson explores the social, economic, and political factors that led to the development of a deep divide between the North and South. One of the primary causes of the Civil War was slavery. The North had begun to view slavery as a moral issue, and many northern states had abolished slavery or were in the process of doing so. The South, on the other hand, was deeply committed to the institution of slavery, which was essential to the region's agricultural economy. Another key issue was states' rights. The South believed that individual states should have the right to govern themselves, while the North believed in a stronger federal government. This difference in ideology became a major source of tension between the two regions. In addition to these issues, there were also economic differences between the North and South. The North was becoming increasingly industrialized, while the South remained largely agricultural. This led to a division between the two regions in terms of economic interests. McPherson also examines the role of political leaders in the years leading up to the war. He explores the impact of figures such as Andrew Jackson, Henry Clay, and Abraham Lincoln on the political landscape of the United States. He also discusses the development of the Republican Party and the impact it had on the country's political system. Part 2 – The War The second section of the book covers the course of the Civil War, from the first shots at Fort Sumter in April 1861 to the surrender of the Confederate Army at Appomattox Court House in April 1865. McPherson provides a detailed examination of the key battles and military strategies employed by both the Union and Confederate armies. He explores the strengths and weaknesses of each side, as well as the factors that contributed to their victories and defeats. One of the key strengths of the Union Army was its industrial and economic resources. The North was able to use its superior resources to outproduce and outmanufacture the South. The Union also had a larger population, which allowed it to field larger armies. The Confederacy, on the other hand, had several advantages of its own. The South was fighting a defensive war, which allowed it to focus on defending its own territory rather than invading the North. The Confederacy also had more experienced military leaders, who were able to make up for the South's lack of resources. McPherson also explores the impact of the war on American society. He examines the experiences of soldiers on both sides, as well as the impact of the war on civilians, including women and African Americans. He also discusses the role of slavery in the war and the impact of the Emancipation Proclamation. Part 3 – The Aftermath the final section of the book explores the aftermath of the Civil War and its impact on American society and politics. McPherson examines the challenges faced by the nation during the process of Reconstruction. He explores the political, social, and economic changes that took place during this period and the impact they had on the country. One of the key challenges faced during the Reconstruction period was the issue of race. The end of the Civil War brought about the abolition of slavery, but it did not guarantee the full rights and freedoms of African Americans. McPherson examines the political and social changes that took place during this period, including the passage of the 13th, 14th, 
and 15th Amendments to the Constitution and the rise of the Ku Klux Klan. McPherson also explores the impact of the war on American politics. He discusses the legacy of Abraham Lincoln and the role of other political leaders in shaping the country's future. He also examines the political and economic changes that took place during this period, including the rise of industrialization and the development of the modern American economy. Overall, Battle Cry of Freedom provides a comprehensive examination of the American Civil War era. Through a detailed analysis of the political, social, economic, and military factors that led to the war, as well as its impact on American society and politics, McPherson provides readers with a thorough understanding of one of the most significant events in American history. In addition to its historical significance, Battle Cry of Freedom is also a well-written and engaging book. McPherson's prose is clear and concise, and his attention to detail and analysis of key events and figures make the book both informative and engaging. The book is also well-researched, drawing on a wide range of primary and secondary sources to provide readers with a nuanced and detailed understanding of the era. For anyone interested in American history, Battle Cry of Freedom is a must-read. It provides readers with a comprehensive understanding of one of the most significant events in American history, and its analysis of the war and its aftermath remains relevant today. Whether you are a history buff or simply interested in learning more about this pivotal period in American history, Battle Cry of Freedom is a book that should not be missed. In addition to exploring the political and social changes that took place during the Reconstruction era, McPherson also delves into the military aspects of the Civil War. He analyzes the strategies and tactics used by both the Union and Confederate armies, and provides readers with a detailed understanding of the military conflicts that took place during the war. One of the strengths of Battle Cry of Freedom is McPherson's ability to bring to life the individuals who played key roles during this period. From Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis to Ulysses S. Grant and Robert E. Lee, McPherson provides readers with a deep understanding of the people who shaped the course of the war and its aftermath. McPherson also examines the impact of the war on American culture and society. He discusses the emergence of a distinct American identity during this period, as well as the ways in which the war influenced literature, art, and music. He also explores the role of women and minorities during this period, highlighting the contributions of African American soldiers and female nurses. Overall, Battle Cry of Freedom is a remarkable achievement. It is a comprehensive and engaging account of one of the most significant events in American history, and McPherson's analysis of the war and its aftermath remains relevant today. Whether you are a history buff or simply interested in learning more about this pivotal period in American history, Battle Cry of Freedom is a book that should not be missed. The American Civil War was a complex and multifaceted event that cannot be reduced to a simple narrative of good versus evil. McPherson emphasizes the importance of understanding the multiple factors that contributed to the war, including economic, social, and political factors. The Reconstruction period that followed the Civil War was a challenging time for the nation, as it faced significant political, social, and economic upheaval. McPherson provides a detailed analysis of the challenges faced during this period and the impact they had on American society. The Civil War had a profound impact on American politics and the development of the modern American state. McPherson examines the role of political leaders such as Abraham Lincoln and the ways in which their actions shaped the course of American history. The issue of race was a defining factor in the Civil War and the Reconstruction period that followed. McPherson explores the complex and often violent interactions between African Americans, whites, and other groups during this period. The Civil War had a lasting impact on American culture, including literature, art, and music. McPherson highlights the ways in which the war influenced the development of a distinct American identity and the emergence of new cultural forms. The military aspects of the Civil War were complex and multifaceted, 
and McPherson provides readers with a detailed understanding of the strategies, tactics, and battles that defined this period. The lessons of the Civil War and the Reconstruction period remain relevant today. McPherson's analysis of this pivotal period in American history provides important insights into the challenges faced by the nation, and the ongoing struggle for freedom, justice, and equality. If you are looking for a comprehensive and engaging account of one of the most significant events in American history, Battle Cry of Freedom by James M. McPherson is a must-read. This Pulitzer Prize-winning book provides readers with a deep understanding of the Civil War and its aftermath, exploring the political, social, and cultural factors that contributed to this period of American history. From the strategies and tactics used by both the Union and Confederate armies to the impact of the war on American culture and society, McPherson's analysis is both comprehensive and compelling. Don't miss out on this opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of this pivotal period in American history. Click on the link in the description to purchase your copy of Battle Cry of Freedom today. We hope you found this book summary of Battle Cry of Freedom by James M. McPherson informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and followers on social media. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more book summaries in this category. Our goal is to provide you with the best summaries of the most influential books in history. So, join us in our mission to spread knowledge and encourage lifelong learning. Thank you for your support.